a student confronts a fake news purveyor, Brian Stelter, from CNN at the ironically named Disinformation Conference, roll into Chicago like they're all like real journalists. And they were exposed for the fakes that they are. It was glorious. So on every major story in the past five years, CNN and the mainstream news media have landed on the wrong side every time. And now they want to lecture the masses on fake news. So that's when uh, first-year college student uh, Christopher Phillips destroyed Stelter and CNN with a list of fake news stories and just a handful. Just a small selection. There is so much more, but they just kept it tight. Let's stick with the big ones. Uh, my name is Christopher Phillips. I'm a first year at the college. Uh, my question is for Mr. Stelter. Uh, you've all spoken extensively about Fox News being a purveyor of uh, disinformation. Uh, but CNN is right up there with them. They pushed the Russian collusion hoax. They pushed the Jesse Smollett hoax. They smeared Justice Kavanaugh as a rapist. And they also smeared Nick Sandman as a white supremacist. And yes, they dismissed the Hunter Biden laptop affair as pure Russian disinformation. Uh, with mainstream corporate journalists becoming little more than uh, apologists and cheerleaders for the regime, is it time to finally declare that the, uh, the canon of journalistic ethics is dead or no longer operative? Uh, all the mistakes of the mainstream media and CNN per in particular seem to magically all go in one direction. Are we expected to believe that this is all just some sort of random coincidence or is there something else behind it? It's too bad. It's time for lunch. And it, it's pretty sad that that's uh, what's uh, been happening in the, the world of journalism, if you want to call it that, because it was like a responsibility to be in the news and to hold power for people accountable. And but now it's just the establishment has just bought up all the news. And so now they just control everybody and they're only allowed to say certain things and they just push propaganda of whatever they're told. But now they are being exposed. So now you're seeing this great unravel of the, the corporate press as every story that they've been pushing for years has turned out to be complete BS.